What's up, YouTube? How's everyone doing this lovely day? This is your boy Reg in the building. I'm going to call this the week request show because I've been so busy. I haven't really been doing like a lot of pre recorded videos lately. And like I've been so busy with school, music, then of course with the live of you. So I thought, like, you know, I'm going to start doing more pre-recorded videos more often and shit like that and these albums I meant to do these I kept meaning to do these week after week after week but always kept getting distracted or sidelined so yeah so the first album I am going to talk today and this was the viewers winner for the um we did, I did a Minneapolis sound poll months ago it's Jesse Johnson's first album the Jesse Johnson's Review. This came out in 1985 on A&M Records. It only came out with three singles, Be Your Man, Can You Help Me, and I Want My Girl. And Jesse Johnson pretty much produced this whole album. You guys should know who Jesse Johnson is. Um, I mentioned him sporadically on this channel. He was a member of The Time. You know, originally he was born in Rockland, Rock Island, Illinois and whatnot and so he moved to the East St. Louis and shit and you know while he was there he was living with his father and that's where his love for music came and he began playing the guitar when he was 15 and when it came to 1981 he moved to um, Minneapolis and that's where he met Amoris Day and at that time Amoris Day was of course the lead singer of the time and he had became um, the lead guitarist eventually and so you guys should know the time um, I reviewed the first two albums, I want to say, um, it's the self-titled, and know what time is it, I talked about those, um, and you know, and also, you know, Jesse Johnson, he pretty much also helped do, do songwriter, like, he was writing songs for Time as well as for Vanity Six, but, um, around the time, like, 84, when they appeared on Purple Rain, um, what ended up happening was they kind of at the time and Prince kind of had like a falling out and you know more they had left the time and Jesse Johnson he would soon leave and 84 and pretty much and you know he got him a record deal with A&M thanks to his manager and that's where the, um, the Jesse Johnson's review came um, in 1985 so of course I do not have this album present with me but I've, I've heard the album you know what I'm saying? Um, not a lot really to talk about with this album, but I'm just gonna give like my thoughts on all the songs because it only have eight songs. So yeah, let me get let me get started and track number one. Give me one, give me one second. I'm just pulling up my notes. I don't know why my notes are not okay. Track number one. Um, be your man. This was a very nice way to start off the album, in my opinion. You know, I just love the sense. You know, love this energy and shit like that. Um, you know, a lot, a lot of love songs on this album, though. And you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of love songs. Then track number two, "I Want My Girl." Um, again, another nice ballad. You know, you know, just pretty much just talking about yearning for his lover. You know what I'm saying? Definitely love the beat to that. Track number three, "She Won't Let Go." I really do not care for um, this track right here. To be real with you. Certain tracks, I'm not gonna lie. He, I don't know if he tried. It's either he tried to sound like Prince, or there's some track he tried to sound like Morris, and whatnot. Um, and that's the same. I felt like with the just too much, tra the just too much, um, song, and stuff like that. Which it was an okay track. I liked it a bit more than the previous, but again, it sounded like it could have been done by the time and stuff like that. You know, um, track number five. Let's have some fun. This is probably my, my favorite track off this album. Definitely have like the party atmosphere. You know, I definitely love the sense that was on this fucking song. You know, definitely a very feel good track. Track number six, Can You Help Me? Again, another very dope track, another feel good track. To me, the guitar solo was what really made this track, that ill ass guitar solo. Um, track number seven, Special Love. Probably, again, one of my other favorite tracks off this album and stuff like that. And what what I like about this track was the fact it was just the beat was so sinister, it was so dark and stuff like that. Um sorry about that. 
Yeah, man. And then the last track, She's a Doll. I went on that end of the album with this track, in my opinion. Um, this track right here was... It, it should have been left off the album. I, I would have accepted if it was just seven tracks and shit. Um, and that's all the time I have for this album. Overall, this album was okay. I'm not going to lie. Um, I definitely felt like he was still trying to find his groove with this one album and stuff. You know what I'm saying? My, this is like the the first Jesse Johnson album I've heard. Because I know a lot of people like the um, Shock, Shock and Delica album that came out in 86. Um, but with this one right here, um, this one was pretty good. You know, it it has its moments where he's like, he's still trying to find himself. But at the same time, I kind of prefer, it's, it's an enjoyable piece for like Minneapolis Soul. I mean Minneapolis Sound, excuse me. Yeah, and this album's out of print too. So if y'all can find this album, must have in your collection. This is Jesse Johnson with the Jesse Johnson's review. And then the next album I am going to talk about is Kaya with the Thug Misses album. And, I, and this is a shout out to my homeboy Jermaine for this one. Sorry it took me forever to talk about this one, but better late than never. Um, yeah, man, this is the album right here. If y'all can see it. Um, you know, I'm also gonna, I'm gonna also put the album, you know, I'm just gonna leave the album like on the side and stuff like that too, because sometimes I feel like y'all might not even be able to see the picture clearly on my phone, so yeah. Okay, so, yeah, Kaya, um, for those who don't know who Kaya is, she's a female rapper, I wanna say she is born, excuse me, I'm looking, she was born in Philadelphia, and whatnot, but then she ended up moving to Tampa, Florida, and stuff like that too. So, and it's crazy too because you know, um, she moved to Tampa, Florida, but before she was a rapper, you know, she was taking care of her kids, and you know, she became a bartender and whatnot. And so, you know, she, she ended up getting love by like the Florida rap scene and shit like that. And so, fast forward to 2002, she dropped her first album on Dirty Down. Artemis Records and whatnot, but the thing about that album, this album was the fact that she began recording it on um, Divine Records because originally it was supposed to came out like October 30th in 2001. But the reason why I kept getting pushed back because I'm kind of like the promotion that the label the label wasn't really promoting the album like that, and so pretty much you know um, she pretty much tried to get out of the label, but then. The song My Neck My Back that became that became like a breakout song and whatnot and so she ended up like um re-releasing -re it on Optimus Records and stuff like that and then that's when she ended up re-releasing the album and stuff too so yeah man if y'all know about Kaya man y'all should know what y'all about to get into um but she produced this album as long as Platinum House and Don Juan um Pretty much, I'm just gonna be real. Almost all the songs, pretty much, you know, she's talking about, you know, fuck niggas and shit like that. She's talking about, you know, you know, a lot of sex tracks and shit like that. So, a lot of these songs, pretty much, even since some of the songs like fall like a similar trend and prevent me from repeating myself, I'm just gonna talk about like a certain tracks that really stood out to me. Um, track number one, of course, is on my neck, my back. Everyone knows that track. I don't even know. I don't know anybody that don't know that track. It's pretty much you no know, a club anthem at that time. And so, yeah, man. It's, and so even Kyle was surprised that the song got like very popular and shit like that too. So, yeah, man. This was a pretty solid track in my opinion. Um, then we got the fuck them other hoes featuring DSD. Um, <clears throat> self-explanatory you know just fuck all the hoes that's hating on her and shit like that um that's pretty much what i got from that track um i didn't care for the k wing i didn't care for that shit um i did like jealous girls though jealous girls was pretty fire and shit like that um what else, what else? give me one second <clears throat> okay, where are my notes? Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, 
Alright, so yeah, Jealous Girls, it was a pretty straight track. Um, You My Girl, that was like dedicated to a homegirl that passed away. That was pretty good too. Um, And the last track, the last two tracks I do want to give a highlight was um, Don't Trust No Nigga. Well, I pretty much like the flow on that one and shit like that. Self explanatory, what she's talking about. And Remember Me, which was like, again, another okay track, where she was kind of going for that little braggadocio feel to it. And that's pretty much all I want to talk about with this album. Um, overall, of course, you know, this is not really the type of music I would definitely bump on, bump like on an occasion or on board or whatnot. But, you know, this is pretty much like, if you guys are fans of like this kind of dirty rap and stuff like that, I would definitely recommend it in my opinion. Um, yeah, some of the beats, I didn't really care for some of the beats on the album because it definitely had that bouncy kind of feel to it but at the same time I don't know I don't know Kaya definitely you know she should definitely show the energy on this so yeah man um definitely um I will give the Jesse Johnson I'm probably gonna give it like a 3.5 out of 5 and I'll probably give the uh, Kaya album um, probably a 3 out of 5 in my opinion you know what I'm saying but yeah man this was a pretty pretty solid album and yeah that's pretty much uh, oh, and I think this album, I want to say um, they re-released this on Spotify, I want to say, because I think they added like some extra bonus tracks and shit, but yeah, man, it's pretty hard to come by these days, and that's all the time I have for these albums. Um, thank y'all so much for watching, and yeah, I'm going to be on top of these pre-recorded videos and shit, so peace.